What's up everybody? It's Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. This video is five things that I've learned from Gen Z as a younger millennial. I feel like there's this constant battle between Gen Z and millennials. Like you would think that we just hate each other's generations. And I think to a certain degree that might be true. I think people love to attack things that they don't understand. And millennials and Gen Z, we just grew up in different times. But as a younger millennial on the early age of that generation, I have been able to hang out with a lot of Gen Z and really understand where they come from. I think that we can all find value and learn lessons from people in other generations. I think that is important to creating a unified world. <laughs> so number one, take care of your skin. I know that this seems so obvious, but as a millennial, I did not take care of my skin. I don't know if that's just me or, you know, whatever, but at 27, I am now realizing that this skin, my face, it's the only skin that I get. And through social media and having female friends, especially who are Gen Z, they take very good care of their skin. There's this whole kind of like minimalist, I think it's like the clean girl aesthetic thing that's going on on TikTok. And honestly, it seems like a lot of Gen Z is really interested in just making sure that their skin stays young and radiant. And I had a Gen Z friend of mine help me pick out some skincare from a brand called Drunk Elephant. And over the last six months, my skin has just gotten younger like the wrinkles have disappeared it's hydrated it's more vibrant makeup goes on easier if I want to wear it um, and I feel like my skin will look better when I'm older if I just take care of it so take care of your skin number two love your body as Millennials a lot of us grew up smack dab in the middle of the early to mid 2000s where the Paris Hilton club era was alive and well. Skinny was the look. It was the only acceptable body type to basically look like you were on the verge of death. And because of that, I feel like a lot of millennials have this very strange perception of body image. Gen Z, on the other hand, they wear whatever they want. They do whatever they want. They have body positivity. Every body is a good body. And I think that that's something that people of any generation, any age should really, really take into consideration. We only get the body that we're in. We should be happy with it. Body image shouldn't be this like huge colossal issue, you know? From Gen Z, we learn we don't just have to wear the style that fits with our body type. I mean, how limiting is that? Wear what you want, do what you want, take care of your body, but be happy with how you look. Number three, be more culturally aware. Millennials grew up at this very strange time towards the end of the 90s where racist jokes and homophobia were kind of just like a part of humor. And as a younger millennial, I've learned the value of cultural appreciation through Gen Z and also the difference between cultural appreciation and cultural appropriation. I think it's very important that we maintain a sense of cultural sensitivity as our world comes to learn about and actually value the struggles that other cultures have had. And I've learned personally for me as a white woman, just sit down and listen. And if somebody tells you that you're offending them, fix it. I mean, it's not up to you. Number four, mental health is not something to be ashamed of as a woman or as a man. We are living in a time where it has become more socially acceptable to be open about going to therapy, to be open about seeking medication or what have you for your mental illnesses. I think that Gen Z is very open about sharing these experiences and people can really relate to that and it helps people to feel like they're not alone. I think when I was a teenager, it was really shameful to go to therapy and I missed out on a lot of support because I felt that way. So mental health, don't be ashamed. You're not the only one. And that brings us to number five, makeup is not for the boys. I know that this is not just me. <laughs> I think a lot of millennial women grew up in a time where societally it was not okay to look a certain way and you wore makeup because you wanted to impress people, not just boys and not simply just to impress, but to 
feel and look normal so to speak. I think that the Gen Z makeup revolution has become more about enhancing your natural beauty and it's very minimal and if it's not minimal you're using makeup purely for self-expression and to be creative and be who you are and like show the world who you are inside makeup is a form of art and i think that limiting yourself to using makeup just to fit in with society is just really a thing that millennial women went through and it's really nice to see that younger generations are like, you know what, I look how I look, this is, it's me. That was five things that I have learned as a younger millennial from Gen Z. Don't knock other generations for the way that they perceive the world. You know, growing up in different times, we're gonna have different experiences. Try to understand those experiences from an outside perspective and you can actually learn a lot. So thank you for watching. I hope you stick around, click that subscribe button to see more videos like this. Comment down below something that you have learned from another generation. I would love to hear about it. And until next time.